Cataclysm is just around the corner, set to be released this summer of 2024. And it was actually the expansion where I myself quit back in the day after pretty much only a month of playing. But today we're gonna be taking the very first look at the Cataclysm closed beta to see what it's all about and if it's worth delving more into. Oh, we're gonna get the trailer. Yeah, whatever, let's just watch it, why not? Oh, it's so loud. Jesus! My hatred burns oh. Deeps. I will say the trailer is sick, though. It is pretty sick. Like, when I saw this back in the day, dude... Holy... Thousand needles, man. And this was hurt. I that's pretty dope, though, man. Jesus. And there it is. Yeah, when I saw this back in the day, I was actually incredibly hyped. It was a huge... Uh... Oh my god, this loading screen! I forgot about this! Or like the uh, intro screen, whatever. It, it got me hyped, I won't lie. Oh, yeah, so we... Okay, so there is no worgen or Goblin yet. There is none of that yet. Hold, I need to... <laughs> Wait, why are the humans kind of like uh, grayed out? Wait, hunters start with a spear? What? Dude, there's actually a lot of things that are like different. You can be a gnome priest. Pleased to meet you. Is that a that's a thing? I guess you can be a knight of mage as well. Wait, can you be a dwarf shaman? Oh yeah, so this is when they did this. So it was in um, uh, yeah, it was in Cataclysm where they made the whole like uh, shaman thing on alliance and, and paladins and horde. Uh. Yeah, there it is, dude. The cow paladin. Dude, Kata is really where it changed a lot, isn't it? I kind of want to try out the gnome. What is that hairstyle? Hey, that's pretty good. So this is Kyle, the level one gnome priest in the Cataclysm closed beta. Or a new loading screen. Given the yep. recent political upheaval in yep. Ironforge, the gnomes have suddenly found themselves unwelcomed guests within okay. the city. Leveraging their ingenious technology. Why is they started Gnomer? Quenchable spirit for adventure. The gnomes have begun to reevaluate their yeah. role within Cosmodon. Under the inventive leadership of high tinker Gelbin Mechatork, the gnomes now plan a mm. daring campaign against the barbarous Trogs to retake their former capital of Gnomeregon. That is so... With the odds stacked against them, the gnomes are counting on brave heroes such as you to stand me. and be counted. Brave heroes such as me. Tower draws near. Yeah, I don't think I ever did this. I won't lie. Like the, the, the gnome... The new gnome starting area. I don't think I did. In the pre-patch, you reclaim either Echo Islands as Horde or Nomergan as Alliance. Oh yeah, there's that big event that you do where you reclaim the, the, the place, right? I remember that with Salah Sane in the Echo Isles. I did that. 
Uh, use the teleporting beacon to, to teleport six survivors to safety. Okay. I don't know the exact lore about what happened to Nomar again, but I think there was like... It was that guy... Uh, I can't remember his name. The final boss, Nomar again. I think he was like messing around with like some sort of like technology. And then they got like there was like a leak with all the, the toxic waste and then everybody got... Uh, you know, they got destroyed because of it. They, they, they got, you know... Uh, toxification. Alright, let's turn this bad boy in. Can I help you? Okay, so we're already level 2 now. Withdraw to the loading room. Follow the safe operations to gaffer coil spring in the loading room. Wait, is that my guy? Dude, poor Kyle, man. What the hell? Is this really the... Be oh. Ah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think there was a server restart, guys. Yeah, they're doing a server restart right now. Okay? <laughs> they're doing a server restart. I think we got too contaminated. Yeah, we, we we overstepped a little bit. Okay, so this is still a part of the, the, the starting zone, yeah? I swear this was longer. Oh, yeah, this went down and then to the right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it did. And I don't think it's supposed to work. <gasps> he doesn't have a voice line. And he has a very, very white beard. Like, on top of his normal beard. <laughs> He's like Giga, the, the Giga beard. Yeah, I, I'll, uh, I'll I'll report that, I guess. Quest, uh, lo quest log does not automatically close after a quest turn-in. Alright, there we go. Submitting some box, boys, let's go. We're box testing. Okay, there we go. I guess I'll just ding. I mean, that's one way to get full XP, right? Or like, full, uh... There we go. Full mana. Do we already get a long cl Dude, what? what? Where is my classic... Where, where is my progression? I get a long cloak from my first quest? Are you joking? You know, in vanilla, you didn't get a long cloak before level 40. Oh, a rare. Classic ended with wrath? Kind of did, honestly. It's a whole different game. It, it really is. Gibblewit. Oh, he dropped a pouch. I've got two pouches already, dude. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, so I do gotta kill those and we get the processions as well. Okay. It's quite funny to me because I've never done this before. Like, I've never done the uh, the new starting zones and everything like that. Do we know when the Catac pre-patches? Um, a lot of people are saying, I believe people are saying April, but I'm not sure what that's based on. I think this is like a guess. You know. Let me just get all these possessions here and then we'll be good to go. April 1st. It will be in sometime in spring. Oh, I don't need to kill this guy, actually. I'm talking about the pre-patch, not the actual release, right? Release will be sometime summer, right? I mean, nobody really knows. We already, we, we only really know from that, like, uh, map that they did, right? Okay, we're level 4 already, actually. And leveling isn't, like, as fast as I thought it would be, actually. I guess it is still really, really, really fast, though, compared to vanilla. Oh my god, dude, I'm str Look, little Kyle, man, look, we're struggling, boys! Oh my god! There we go, level 5! This guy is huge, look at him! He's a bonker! Okay, I guess we're gonna just put this guy with a the thing there. I'm gonna kill his friend first, actually. There we go. Bonk! Yeah, look at that bad boy. He's pissed! There we go. Okay, we killed him, so I guess we just put the detonation stuff in here. Okay, that looks re ready to detonate. All right, here you go, boys. Oh, there it is, there it is. Everyone, hang on! <laughs> Kata was when WoW became good. That's what I mean, there's so many divided, re uh, you know, opinions on it. It's it's when WoW really changed a lot, I think. For the better or the worse, that's up to the individual, obviously, to decide, but... Definitely is a big, major changing point. Kata killed World PvP? I mean, let's be honest, World PvP kinda died with the Flying Mounts, man. When, when Flying Mounts came out, that's when World PvP died. Okay? In, in, in TBC. Uh, staging in Brunel. Okay, what are we gonna do? Speak with Javi Shadowstep at Brunel Village. Okay, go down here. Imagine playing WoW for World PvP. 
Honestly, I used to play WoW a lot for World PvP, man. Like, raiding and World PvP is why I started playing on Nostalrius, man. That was my whole whole Shazam. So we're gonna go on this guy, and we're gonna use that big power from the from the Mega Torque, right? Oh, no! No matter. My guardians and I will make short work of you! Go on, man! Oh, shit! They're gonna go into their little bot things? Oh, my God, look at that. How is Kyle gonna... Oh, my God, how is Kyle gonna outlive this, guys? Wait, I'm, I'm just getting carried. Oh. I don't even have to do anything. What is that? Okay, do I just spam this? I guess I just spam this. Ah, uh, let's go. It sounds like an, like an anime or something. Why does he, like, say what he's casting? That's so silly. I don't want to die to these. Heal myself real fast. The heal is so OP, man. What the hell? Dude, gnomes are so... Oh, gnomes, man. I don't even know, dude. Let's bring this over here. I do want to try to see if we can run over there, though. So we need to go to Lachmodan. I don't even know how you get into the Twilight Highlands, actually. Oof. Oh, oof. Wait, I'm blind. Ugh. I'm dead. Okay. Fair enough. Oh my god. Wait, is this normal? That, that, that is not normal, right? <laughs> this is not this fast normally. There is no way. I am like speed. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's a guild perk. Okay. Oh, you mean this? Ah. Oh, yeah. Actually, really good shout. So we get bartering, reduces the gold price of items from vendors by 10%. Sometimes the increase of quality of materials gained from mining, herbing, and herbalism is and disenchanting. Cash flow. More money from mobs. A guild bank. Oh, yeah, so like 5% of the money you loot goes into the guild bank. It's like a better one, 10%. The duration of buffs is increased by 50%. 100%. Experience gained from killing monsters is 10% higher. Justice point gained by 10%. Yeah, cash flow seems pretty... Yeah, that does seem a little bit... Um, not the best. Um, I guess I'm going this way. Guild mail. In-game mail sent between guild members now arrives instantly. Increase the number of flasks gained by using a guild cauldron by 50%. Hearthstone cooldown. Oh, I gotta have to. I have to kill myself, guys. No, in, in 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 game. And I guess I'm just talking to Spirit Healer. Doesn't matter. Um. Summon all party members to the caster's location. Cannot be used while in combat and can only be cast in the outdoor world and in entrance. Okay. There's more honor points. Mass rest. So, summon a mobile chest that allows access to the guild bank. Okay. Mound up. Increased mind speed. Okay. More reputation. Less durability cost. Health gained when resurrected by a guild member. Trade skills. Okay, so that's what we got. Yeah, I do agree though, the cash flow is a little bit wonky. Okay, so if we want to go through here, we have to go up here and then to the right, right? That's the, the way to Twilight Highlands. Oh, so this door is locked. Ah! What? I guess it's locked off like that? Do they give you a flying mount? Could I fly to... How far could I fly with this? Could I fly to Vashir with this? Wait, hold on a second. Maybe that. Maybe that's possible? Wait, hold on. What would be the shortest way there? I guess over here. And like on the very edge, right? And then we just send it. Maybe a little bit further down. And we fly from here, we just go that way. We should maybe to get to the kelp tar first. That's the one. Oh, thank you, Labyrinth. 
Okay, so we oh, I actually see it. That's Bashir over there, right? Some of the little uh, thingamajigs. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can go, go, go the boys. Okay, we're gonna try to see if we can get to Bashir. I think it actually starts right there. Bashir. Yeah. No, 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 no. Could, can I get underwater with this? I can. Could I just get a little bit of a look? I don't see anything. Oh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like the water. It's really deep. Like, it's kind of scary. I think even if I go really up high... <gasps> is that something? Oh, shit. There it is. It's down there. Oh, damn. So you can see it. Yeah, if we go really up high, we could actually see a little bit of stuff. Did you see the buff on you with the BlizzCon icon? Well, I didn't. Let's, let's try again. Okay, we're actually over it now. Look at that. You are where you should not be, no man's land. Oh, damn, okay. That's an interesting way of doing it. Okay, so you get like a debuff, or like you get a buff that says you are not where you su you're supposed to be, they teleport you out. Oh, wait, yeah, Soul Shore did get completely messed up. Oh, yeah, this is a horde city now, right? I for- dude. I forgot about all these things. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right, let's go over here. Wait, is this where you can get to play plants and zombies? <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here, it's right here. Yeah. That is hilarious, dude. That is so cool, the little checkerboard. You put your zombies there, like the plants there, the zombies come in. Dude, it's kind of weird, I'm, I, I'm getting a little bit excited about it, it's kind of weird, man. Maybe it's just nostalgia though. Because I'm like kind of reminiscing about how I remember some things. So that's kind of exciting. Damn, look at this place. The Forsaken Front. Oh, look at them. It's kind of funky. So this is the Pyrewood Village. This was changed a lot, actually. What the heck? And then we got Gilneas here. The Battlefront. And this is where you would enter Gilneas. So, are we gonna be able to enter? Okay. Is that a submarine here? The pincer? What the hell? Is this like a quest or something? Look at the light there. Okay. You should try this zone when war can come out. Yeah, I've, I've never leveled a war before, man. Okay, and I, I think you start here, right? Or something. Okay, kind of interesting. Well, I mean, I mean, whenever whenever they make it possible to uh, to do it, then uh, then yeah. All right, is there anything else you want to check here? I, I want to do the the troll uh, starting meme as well. All right, uh, I want to go try to level the, the the troll area right now, and then we can try to see if we can go to Uldum and those things afterwards. That could be kind of cool. So, troll leveling. I'm gonna do the starting zone, and we'll do Mount Hayal and uh, the other thing as well, right? You can't make a, a death knight, right? Yeah, you can't make a death knight. Okay, we'll we'll just make a troll druid. Is there like some new funky troll hairstyles that they added in this game? What the fuck? This is like a bald, like long- Oh my god, it's like the coping hairstyle, man. Alright, we'll go with this one. I call him Baba. Alright, dude, what is this hairstyle, man? Yeah, that's Baba. Alright, let's go. Did they change the intro then? I guess they did, right? Dark speared trolls attempted to make a new life for themselves amongst mm. the disparate races of the Horde. Uh huh. Under the leadership of oh, the yeah, so it's here now. chief Thrall, Vuljin and his savage trolls had at last found the honor and purpose they had been searching for. But now, under mm -hmm. the rule of the headstrong Garrosh Hellscream, the trolls fear that the Horde could tear itself apart. Vuljin knows that whatever threats loom ahead, whether they be from within the Horde or from without, oh, the dirt the music. Trolls like you who will fight to preserve the honor of the Horde. I mean, you could say what you think about Cataclysm, if you hate it or not. But it was really, really... It was a big risk, all the shit that they did, man. They changed a lot. They added a lot of new soul. I mean, they literally changed everything. Like, new classes, new everything, right? It was crazy. It was a huge change. What? Okay, let's do that. should be somewhere in the grounds here. I'll catch you later, man. Dude, kind of nice voice acting though. I like that. It's kind of it's kind of cool when when stuff is voice acted like that. It it, it is a little bit more immersive. Uh, where do I go? I guess I go over here. 
Dude, it's so weird. Like, why does... Why didn't they change Wrath to be like this? I guess in Cataclysm as well? I mean... Why do they like these islands so much? Maybe they just vibe with the islands, but it's kind of like strange. Vuljin dies? What the fuck did you just say in my chat? What the hell, man? How could he die? He's badass. Easier to understand if you see it yourself. Okay. Oh, Garrosh. Don't talk back to me, troll. You know who was left in charge here. Haven't you stopped to ask yourself why Thrall chose me instead of you? There be no question why, Garrosh. Mm -hmm. He gave you the title because you be Gram's son. Oh, shit. And because the people be wanting a war hero. In the whore destroyed by your foolish thirst for war. By the Loa! Oh. I will endure your filth in my throne room no longer! I, that's kind of racist. I know exactly what I'll be doing about it, son, a hell scream. I'll watch and wait as your people slowly become aware of your ineptitude. I'll laugh as they oh, grow to despise you, as I do. Damn. Is it Chris Metzen that plays uh, Voices Vulgen? It sounded a little bit like it, but I, maybe not. No, it's not. I like the voice acting a lot. I'm just doing a little bit of like I'm doing. Uh, I've been doing. I up with you. Let's stick together in here, okay? By the lower. Yeah, let's do that. It's where you completely destroy everything. It's it was a big uh, big change for sure. No, you can't. You can't do you you can't do gnome or a goblin. I wanted to originally do that, but we're trying this out now, and I want to see if we can get to Uldum and stuff. I just need to figure out a way to like activate that thing image again with the flying thing, so we can like go super fast. Oi, man! It reeks a bad fish in here. Oh, I get it. Because they're fish people, and then he's saying. Your mama. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, because they're fish. Yeah, get makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, nice. I think this is the final quest of the island, right? You gotta go kill some uh, some boso up here. Okay, do I just? I don't get any like special abilities like I did with the gnomes. We don't get any power power ranger stuff here. So I guess uh, don't you do something with these? Maybe just I'm just imagining that. Ada is one step closer to mob. It does feel like a lot of people hate Kata, but everybody seems to love Mob. Oh yeah, I do have to do something with these here. Do I gotta do it one more time? I'll get the oh. fires this time. Good job, Suni! Not so fast. Wait! Little no! 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 What? Flip! I like that guy. Oh, mamma mia. I mean, honestly, man, pretty cool intro, though. I, I liked what they did with this whole thing. Like, they gave kind of trolls a little bit their own thing. Same with the gnomes. Um, okay, let me go turn this in here real fast. Is there some way I can get that Griffon again? So I could, like, try to go to uh, Mount Hygel? I think that could be kind of cool. We got it last time by going to Arathi Highlands. So if I kill my character now... Oh, there we go! Now it's time for speed. Yeah, it's because we have a guild perks chat. So we have like, uh, because we're in a guild that's like a really, really high level. We have like um, this thing right here. Increase the movement speed while dead by 100%. Oh yeah, and this looks like this now. Dust Velo Marsh looks so different as well, I remember. It's, I don't know, it, I, I know, I know we could probably just do this in retail or whatever, run around, but it, it's kind of interesting to me just to do this in the beta. You know, running around, see if we can find some places and stuff. I like it. Yeah, so this is what happened to 1k needles. How crazy is it that four, five years ago we had Classic WoW come out. And now we're already getting into Cataclysm. That is insane. Is that the hardware store, guys? Oh my god, look at those flames here, dude. They got everything. They got everything that you would want, boys. Look at all of this. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna try to go in, boys. This is the entrance, right? This is how you get inside? Oh! Oh, there's the mount. There's the mount. Okay, we got the mount. I would assume there would be, like, some big grand entrance, right? I mean, you can still see it, I guess. 
I don't think we can go that far. Yeah, look, we just get teleported out. Okay, well, one final thing. I want to go to uh, Hayal. I guess that's the final thing we can really do here. Unless there's like other things we want to go see. I got that with them. Okay, can we actually go here? Ah, flip me. No, I wanted to go into Hayal. It would have been pretty cool to have seen uh, Firelands. Ah, flip me with a stick. Whatever. Big, make sure to check Arborteen up. Okay, we can check Arborteen. Let's do that. Oh, I was never a big fan of the, uh, this thing, uh, of, like, Dark Shore, but they changed it a lot. It's so difficult to try and, like, run around in this place now. I mean, yeah, this is always going to be very, very biased because we are mainly, like, like, classic Andes, I suppose, in here. A lot of people are, at least, so maybe it doesn't appeal as much with Cataclysm. Yeah, this place got fucked, uh, fl flipped up, man. Well, regardless, though, it was, it was pretty fun running around, like, test, like seeing if we could enter some zones, trying out the gnome area and the the, the, uh, the troll. I, I enjoyed this. I, I am looking forward to trying out Cataclysm for sure. And seeing how it really is going to be, right? Because it's so... My perspective on this expansion is so hard to really put into words, I guess. I don't know if I'm excited or not. I don't think I'm excited, but I'll try it. Wee! Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought it was gonna do something. 